and welcome back to the channel. On this video I'm going to be writing the Lyric Graffiti as you see it right there. And you don't see this but it's hot. So this right here is going to be no gloves um, because of the heat I'm going to chance that I don't have an accident and scrape up my hands. But I want my hands to be cooler today because it's hot. How hot is it? Well, this is the hottest ride of the year so far for me. And so we'll make it a short and sweet one here. And it's currently a rather balmy 105 degrees. So like I say, we're going to make this ride short and sweet, but uh, I wanted to get out for a ride. It's a little breezy out today, but you don't really notice it. Like, you don't feel anything. It doesn't fan you because it's so warm out. Like, when I'm riding now, I'm feeling the air, but it's warm air. It's like, it kind of feels to me like when you are cooking something in your stove oven and you open the door maybe not quite that hot but it gives you that kind of a feeling Am I crazy for being out here at all? In 105, maybe. Oh, I don't mind it. It's going to be a short ride. I wouldn't want to go too too long out here because I don't think it's great for your bike or for you. But you know, I was thinking about this today. If you live in an area that gets all four seasons, we kind of get three seasons here. We don't really get a, a winter here. Like our winter here, we get a winter, but it's not. You might get snow, you might not. If you do, you get an inch or two and it melts almost immediately. And it doesn't get extremely cold. Very rarely do you get that kind of stuff, like cold. And But if you, uh, if you look at all of the, uh, like the four seasons and you go by, uh, depending on the weather, by uh, how you're going to ride or if you're going to ride, gee, by the time you cut out your different seasons, like you're not going to ride in winter, a lot of people right i can do it here because it's not like i say it's not terrible you may have a, a few days like last year there was some icy situations where i tried it and then another day i said nope i'm not doing it so uh, i didn't have a video that day i just went out and showed you the street um the road i think that was last winter and uh, i said i just can't ride on it. i couldn't even walk on it let alone try to try to an electric bike or anything on it and so, uh, so if you take all those away, like the, the, you know, some folks don't want to ride in rain, won't ride in the cold, if it gets below a certain temperature, say under 50, some people will not ride. If you take all of those days away though, that doesn't leave you as many days. Like you get a lot of days cut off your uh, calendar, you know, as far as uh, riding your electric bike. Maybe you got to be a real diehard and brave the ele elements to uh, do that. I mean, there's some some places where there's, there's no way. If you get two feet of snow or something, how the heck are you going to ride an electric bike in two feet of snow, you know? Uh, I don't think you're going to be doing that. I wouldn't be doing that. And on icy 
conditions, no. Thunderstorm, uh, no, that's not good. Rain is okay. I mean, I've, I've ridden in rain lots of times. It's not the most pleasant ride in the world. But it's doable. These bikes are pretty good now that you can ride in the rain. I've never had an issue with uh, the bike um, having any problems with riding in the rain. I've had nothing as far as that goes. And I can't remember now if it was last year or two years ago that we had an extreme, uh, oh, it must have been four or five days where we had extreme heat. And one day in particular got as high as 116 degrees. And that's the warmest day or hottest day I've ever been involved in or, or lived through in my life. I've never had that before growing up in Canada back in uh, the Toronto area and uh, never experienced that. High humidity, yes, and hot temperatures, yes, but not 116. That's, that's really pushing it up there. That's about 47 Celsius and that's not humidity, Humidex, that's straight temperature. That's pretty warm. But yeah, we get we get these little little streaks of 100 degrees for several days, uh, which we're involved in now. We have an excessive heat warning. In effect, it's supposed to be coming to an end tonight. I'm recording this video on Tuesday, July the 9th. And so it's supposed to back off a little bit. Tomorrow it's supposed to only be 93. So they, they're taking the excessive heat warning away as of, I think it's 10 p.m. tonight. So um, I guess they figure 93 is not excessive. I guess you can ride in that. I don't know, but to me, once it gets to 90 degrees, something like that, or even high 80, but 90, say, um, after that, it all feels the same to me. I can't tell the difference if it's 90 degrees or 100 degrees. It all feels the same to me. So even tomorrow, to me, being 93 is still going to be pretty hot, I'd say. But if you want to comment uh, on some of your experiences riding in extreme weather, be it hot, cold, snow, rain, ice. I mean, I've tried almost all of that. Um, a little bit of snow and ice, but um, some pretty icy conditions. I've done that before. You gotta ride really slow. And uh, I've not, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ridden in a thunderstorm and if I have, it's I got caught in one, but I didn't actually go out in the middle of a thunderstorm and start riding. That, that would be a no for me. I wouldn't want to do that. And in blizzard-like conditions, you don't want to be out there on your bike. That's, you wouldn't want that. Blowing snow and all of that. So that's gonna do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell and you'll get a, a notification that a new video is up. Pretty much every day you can pretty much expect a video uh, at 9 a.m local time here that's 12 noon eastern time i'm in the pacific you didn't know oregon 
and also I've been putting up a lot of shorts uh, at 4 a.m. which is 7 a.m. Eastern time I don't know I don't put those up every day but almost every day if not every day but um, it depends so that's going to do it for this video and if you want to make a comment go ahead and leave that in the comments below like I say maybe you can let us know some of the extreme weather that you've ridden in in the past be it hot weather cold weather rain snow sleet whichever wind and uh, share that with us if you want in the uh, comments so once again thank you for joining me on this video and hey until next time keep your wheels on the road see you later